How are we doing guys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Flair Bartending Tips. Now in today's episode, I'm showing you nine, I've got something in my eye, I show you nine tricks with a large shaker and a small shaker, or some people call it a tin on tin. Now I have done a video like this way, way back when, but these are nine nine tricks which you can do with a tin on tin shaker, uh, icing them up, uh, some very simple, some very difficult, some very visual, so there is something there for everybody. Uh, I've also tried out some new editing skills which I've learned, so hopefully you're going to enjoy it. Uh, tell me what you think about the video uh, and wait until the end because there's two super cool moves at the end which I think you're going to enjoy. Um, but before we go any further, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, <clears throat> consider subscribing because then you will be able to find more videos like this. And if you click the little bell, you'll get notified every time I upload super cool, awesome videos like this one. Mm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, right, yeah, I hear you screaming. Just get on with the video. So here it is. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so with this move, you wanna take the small tin, place it on the bar top in front of you like this. Then the big tin, get a scoop of ice, hold it in tennis grip, place it directly on top of the small tin, flip it over, take that small tin out back on the bar top, and you push gently the small tin so it tips over, lands inside the shaker. Easy peasy. Okay, so the trick with this one is to have your ice pre-scooped. You roll the tin around, you scoop the ice into the large tin, and then you just catch that tin as it drops off. Easy. an upgrade of the last one actually looks more difficult but it's easier because you roll both but then you use one hand to catch the tins and you scoop with the other hand then you've got to basically place the small tin in readjust the large tin and flick it over and catch it together Right, with this one, you've got to lay that small tin down on the bar top sideways with the open den facing away from you. You don't have to do the thumb roll with the large tin, but you can scoop the ice in, then you scoop the small tin and you just literally throw it back and then balancing that scoop on your thumb is pretty easy. <laughs> tricky one, so hold the small shaker and large shaker together. You're gonna to flip that shaker for a single spin and then catch it inside the small shaker. Ice it up and then release that small shaker off of the large shaker and catch it inside the large shaker. <laughs> This move is pretty simple. Just put the small shaker on top of the big one, bring it over, balance it in front of you, get the ice into the ice scoop, and then you lift up gently and you throw the ice in and the small shaker goes up, flip over the large shaker and catch it in there. It should be pretty easy, but takes a little bit of practice. part of this move is tricky if you have smaller hands but the second part of the move which you're going to see in just a second so you put the ice in the big shaker and you basically just flick the small shaker with the scoop and land it in the large shaker you can do just that if you want <laughs> Right, 
this move is pretty easy. It's just all about movement. So you put the two shakers on top of the large shakers, then you ice up, get rid of the scoop, and then it's just the case of making the windscreen wiper motion with the two uh, sets of shakers. And each time you place the small shaker in the large one and then the small shaker in the large one, flip them over onto the bar top. Super simple, but very visual. can be tricky as well. You gotta place those two shakers in front of you just to get ready. Uh, and then you ice up those two large shakers. Now, when you come to throw the two small shakers, you just wanna pinch them and make sure they stay together and give them a small flick. It does take some practice to get this one right, but the more you do it, the easier it'll become. And if you miss one shaker, you can always try and catch it in the other hand. But like I said, the more you do it, the easier it'll become and you'll be nailing it every single time. Boom! Well, what did you think about that? I hope you like those tricks. I hope you try them out for yourself. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, Tom Dyer Bartender, uh, and let me know how you're getting on. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions, just whack it into the comments box below. Don't forget to subscribe once again. And thank you very, 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 very much for watching. Um, without you, it's just me talking to a camera, basically. So uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for watching until the end. Till next time, see you then.